The Taliban claims it now controls 90 percent of Afghanistan's borders after sweeping offensives following the withdrawal of foreign forces. A Taliban spokesman was quoted as saying the group has seized Afghanistan's borders with Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Iran. Following the withdrawal of U.S. and NATO troops, the Taliban now controls over half of Afghanistan's roughly 400 districts. The news comes a day after the Afghan government and the Taliban reportedly agreed to expedite peace talks. Roads have turned into rivers in parts of India. Thousands are stranded in the western state of Maharashtra, home to financial capital Mumbai. Rescue operations are underway, but rains and rising water levels at rivers and dams have hampered evacuation efforts. Landslides have flattened villages. Search teams are having difficulty accessing badly hit areas due to submerged roads. The Navy has deployed helicopters and rescue boats to help stranded residents. Officials say hundreds of villages and towns don't have electricity or drinking water. The funeral for the assassinated president of Haiti was disrupted by the sound of gunfire. As you can see, journalists traveling in a car nearby captured the sound of those shots. The state funeral was intended to foster national unity in Haiti, where there are still too few answers about who planned the assassination and why. Several foreign delegations took cover in vehicles or left early. We just got an intelligence information which led us to this address with uh, the collaboration of uh, serious and violent crimes unit within the province we had also security industry this supports the e2 project through their collaborative work they managed to come to this scene where after they managed to round up people who were planning to carry out uh, various robberies in the province and out of this scene, we got the second scene just opposite the house. And uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, they rounded 19 suspects are arrested. And uh, out of these 19 suspects, we got three rifles, which are R5s. We got uh, four AK-47, which gives us a total of seven rifles, two pistols two explosive chargers which are ready for use.
Celebrity chef Mario Batali and his business partner have agreed to pay $600,000 to at least 20 former employees after an investigation found their Manhattan restaurants were rife with sexual harassment. That's according to New York Attorney General Letitia James, who said in a statement that the culture of unwanted groping, kissing, hugging, sexual advances, and explicit comments at his restaurants Babo, Lupa, and Del Posto broke New York human rights laws. According to the settlement, the attorney general's probe found that Batelli himself grabbed a female server's hand and pulled it towards his crotch, and that he showed a male server an unwelcome pornographic video. Male managers at the restaurants made crass sexual comments, told female employees to wear makeup, and insinuated to some of them that they should get breast implants. The small town of Djevaniskas, in a pocket of Lithuania surrounded by Belarus, has risen up in protest against the government's plan to house some 500 detained migrants in a disused building 24 metres from a local school. Dozens of its residents have tried to prevent the construction workers from turning it into a temporary housing facility. The chief of the Lithuanian police and high-ranking government officials arrived on Friday to talk to about 100 of its residents staging a protest. The influx of migrants from Belarus continues unabated. 92 were detained on Thursday and the authorities are struggling to find quarantine facilities and expand detention centres.